TDR Team Duelist Revolution. Uh, Bernardo here. I'm actually going to teach you guys how to make what I call the perfect tokens. Um, here's an example. Um, it's it's literally a perfect split almost. Um, and uh, let's get in how to make it. So what we'll need? We'll need a token. Um, you can get these. You can probably buy a really crappy tin from a while back. Uh, I think the Dragon Ruler ones have them. You can probably still find them at Walmart or just go to a local, maybe in like the Dollar Binder or just online. You can buy them in bulk too. Um, I had a couple friends who had a bunch of them, so I stole a lot of them. So get a token and a card you want to make a token. Now I prefer to use super rares because um, the um, tokens are ultra rares. So it makes sense, or at least most of them are ultra rares, the hollow ones, which I prefer to use. Uh, you can use secret, I guess. Uh, I mean, it only just doesn't make sense. I mean, gold text and a secret image. Um, but uh, I guess do whatever you want. So you'll need a token. A uh, card you're going to make the token out of. A token and some scissors. Pretty obvious. And finally, a glue stick. Uh, this is the one I'm using. It's the disappearing purple. Um, it doesn't really matter. Um, just as long as it's a glue stick. Um, definitely not the restickable ones. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get our token. Now a lot of people know to um, split the card but um, I actually decided to skip a couple steps because you don't need to split the whole card. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the card. So you basically you want to cut the box. You want to cut the gray border out. So you want the gray border still in the image because I want it to cover the actual gray border in this. That way if there's any overlap you just can't see it. It'll hide a lot better so um, I'm going to cut, probably speed this up, and then I'll show you up close what it looks like. So, here's what we have. You see that I still kept the gray border along the edging? You want to keep that, because again, it's going to help mask the token. Now, I'll pull it so you can see the back of it. Now, it's not perfect, so that honestly just doesn't matter because it's going to be so flat onto the card, you're not really going to notice. The gray border is just um, for the added mask, so they can't tell. Just to make your job a little bit easier, uh, I suggest peeling the back of it, um, the back of your token, so let me see if I can, you can get your nail in there. It's really not that difficult. Just to peel as much as possible. Alright, so we got our first little split. See that in there? So basically you're going to want to split as much as possible. I actually split quite a bit. It's uh, semi-thin, but it's still pretty thick of a layer. And that's definitely not how thick the token is going to be. So peel as much as you can. Um, normally it's just the back layer, right? Um, and you're still going to see it's going to look, I guess, a good description someone mentioned in an old tutorial on how to do this. Um, it's a little cloudy. So basically we're going to remove this completely. Um, so we have just the image. What we need to do is we need to get the sync running and take the token, oops, drop it, take the image of the token and kind of wash away all of this cloudy white area. Now it will completely remove. So I use a warm water. I start off with warm. Sometimes I turn up the temperature and you're going to just rub away. All right, you see that? It's just rubbing off. See all that? Basically all this white's going to come completely off. I know some people actually don't even get it completely off, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's completely off. So uh, I'm actually running, I guess, more of a hot water right now. Um, I'm going to cool it down a little bit because it kind of hurts my hand. All right. And this is the te most tedious part. It'll probably take maybe two minutes. I don't know, maybe longer. It's been a while since I've done this. Right. And also be gentle because um, you don't want to really crease it. A lot of people were scared they were going to ruin the image. That's why I cut this so you have less of a chance to crease it. Because I'm basically just having it on two fingers and rubbing off. And of course I'm working it through my other fingers. But um, just so you don't crease it and don't ruin the image. So I'm going to keep this going. I think I got it. Let's see here. Nope. Just when I thought I had it all, there's just a little bit from the corners. Yeah, this edge still got a whole lot. I don't know how well you guys can see all that, but it's got to completely come off. 
and you will know, trust me. Because you'll run your finger through and it'll just be like a silky paper. And trust me, it doesn't ruin the image to get this wet. That was um, one of the things I know a lot of people might be a little scared of or a little weary of, scared they're going to ruin the image, but it won't ruin because it's more of a plastic texture. It's not just going to rub off the ink. I'm going to damp it down with some toilet paper. You can use a paper towel. Since I'm in the bathroom, I figured why not just use what I have access to. Um, just going to kind of rub it lightly. This is where things get crucial because this is where you could potentially crease it and ruin it. So um, definitely let's not do that. So I'll get a close up for you guys. Um, you see it's just like a shiny paper. There's no more of that fuzz on it. It's literally just, here I'll even flick it. It's just like a plastic texture. There's literally just no fuzz on it. It's completely clean. It's almost like a piece of a photo paper. You have your completely smooth photo paper, uh, photo paper like texture. Um, peel from the card um, and you have your token and your glue stick I have a piece of paper because I don't want to get stuff on my mat but now you just lay out the back of your image and you're gonna use your glue stick um, since I have paper underneath I don't really need to be perfect with it so the idea is you want to cover the whole thing so. and you don't really want it to be clumpy and if it does get clumpy, it'll push through when you um, press it up against the token and you'll be able to rub it away. But the idea is try to get it as smooth as possible. Lay it flat. Trust me, don't be scared to get it on your fingers. It's not that serious, guys. Um, make sure I get this all on camera, too. All right. I'm, like, multitasking. I'm the one that does the video, so I'm, like... Doing a million things at once right now. Okay. I think I almost covered it all. And again, it's going to disappear. I also like it being the purple one just so I can see and make sure that I've covered every inch of it. Alright, so I covered it all. And now to apply it to the actual token. Uh, let's remember, Dogfighter goes this way, so that's another crucial part knowing which way it goes. So the idea is you want to line it against the gray box. It's a reason why we cut out the gray box so it'd be easier to line up too. And, and you have to cover it up. So, here's that. Here's that. All right, I lightly pushed it on just to make sure I have it in the right spot. Looks good. And we'll cap the glue. And now I will spread it. Slowly push it down, make sure it's flat, make sure there's no bubbles in it. I first I do this with my finger. Thick, I use it as a roller, so um, I will roll it, make sure it's down. I'll drag it down by, I'll pinch the bottom of the token image, and I'll have it here, and I'll sh just push down and swipe it this way, and I'll do it for each end. Um, you can put it under book or whatever. Um, it's actually just good now. Um, this glue dries really quickly. Um, it's just basically paper on a paper. Um, since it's really, really thin piece, there's just genuinely just no seam. They could actually rub their fingers. They won't feel it, especially because it's on the gray box. There's just no seam. It's literally just the perfect token. Um, I hope that helped you guys. Um, uh, you know, send us links to the video in the comments. Um, let us know um, your guys' success with it. Um, just ideas on cards that look good. I do Dogfighter because, well, I don't run them um, currently, but I used to run Dogfighter, and I used to just have a bunch of tokens. So this is actually my third one, so it uh, made a complete playset. Um, I know one of you guys asked in the comments, and I told you I'd make it. So there you go. Um, if there's any other things you guys um, would like me to, I guess, showcase or... Just things maybe Yu-Gi-Oh related, but just things that you would just like to know or things that you'd like to do in Yu-Gi-Oh that are just, I guess, more on the creative side, outside of the dueling side. Um, leave it in the comments and we'll see what we can do.